Hey, how's it going, man? Old man and his mirage here again. I thought it was about time to bring in an update. Oh, I can't remember what my last video was about. I should have looked before I started this one, but I did not. I just wanted to get this before I left the boat again. It's uh, December 15th, um, 2017. Just been uh, starting some projects here. Mirage is in her slip. Um, I think I did a video when I came back in uh, to the Ortega River. I'll have to go back and look, um, which was a great, a great trip. I think I said all that. It was a good trip. Um, the last day I motored like 12, 13 hours just to get to the Ortega River because I knew that would be a great spot to uh, relax. I, I could be just totally relaxed there because that's basically my backyard. And then her slip was just right around the corner from there. Um, so, uh, starting a lot of projects uh just been going crazy got more to do um trying to make myself relax actually and uh not try to get it all done at once because you're just not there's just so much to do I've, I've got years that i can work on this boat and i need to uh i need to uh do it that way to with the realization that i have years to fix all this stuff um Started on the teak. Uh, the teak definitely needed some help. Um, just kind of working on some of the easy outside pieces because I was very tired of it flaking all up um, everywhere. Like I said, just some of the real easy stuff. Handrails, eyebrows, that kind of stuff. Um, did find this really cool door ad up there on eBay because uh, I did not have the actual cow vent for the box itself. Um, so found that on eBay, super cheap because all the brass ones are, you know, 200 plus. And uh, truthfully, you know, looking at the boat, I thought that would be the only shiny piece of brass on the boat. And uh, it just didn't make a lot of sense to me. So I found that one, 70 bucks in me, uh, got that. And it looks really cool. It uh, kind of goes with the, with the boat and everything. And being aluminum, it fits right in with all the stainless and other pieces of aluminum, such as the mast. Um, speaking of the mast, uh, that was the other thing, major project that I did was I pulled the mainsail. I don't like, uh, I didn't like the way it was set up. Um, I think it might have been a little stretched out. Uh, he said it was kind of, he, the guy, Tom at Wind Dancer, um, local sail maker, and uh, super nice guy, Tom at Wind Dancer, Jacksonville, Florida. That's where you want to go if you're around this area. But um, he said it was like a racing sail with a very full belly. But I did not care for it, and I, I, of course, I don't like the old Cape Dory type of uh, main sheet arrangement, um, need a track, uh, but that's another project, several hundred dollars worth of project on that one, unless I can find a good used mainsail track system. But anyways, when you're standing out there in the cockpit, sail hauled all the way up, you know, if it comes across, it catches me right about here, and I just I can't go with that. Um, so I'm having him shorten it up a little bit on... Um, what is that? The uh, on the luff on the back side, isn't that what that's called? Anyways, he's gonna take a couple inches out, tighten it up because it is a little stretched. Um, he says the sail's in great shape, so I hope to get that back fairly soon. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna get that going. Um, teak, like I said, starting to haul out some of the wiring, some of this old wiring, because uh, <sighs> can't stand it, but. Some of the wiring is speaker wire. No, no. Mirage, my little my little baby Mirage. She she deserves so much better than than speaker wire. So um, you can get 500 feet of 14-2 tinned marine wire on eBay for like uh, I think the cheapest I saw was 150 bucks for 500 feet. Yes five zero zero so that's probably enough to wire the whole boat uh at least as far as the 14 stuff because i'm i'm definitely simplifying things um i'm gonna pull out the old refrigeration um got to redo that galley one day but been trying to make myself grasp the fact that i have time i got all the time i got a couple of years that i can work on mira here and uh, I, I'm sometimes I get a little antsy, a little nervous, Nelly, and uh, try to get everything done at once. And you just can't. Like today, I was going to do some more, put another coat on the teak. Wind kind of has been kicking up a little bit. And uh, I've got a little 
cheesecake, uh, you know, a little cheese on there. I don't know if you know what, you know, when you're doing varnish, sometimes it kind of dries up with a little grated cheese kind of look to it. Um, I think it's because I haven't been waiting long enough between coats. So I kind of scratched most of that off and I'm going to wipe it down with some good mineral spirits and leave it for a day or so and let it really dry up good. I need to call my buddy Bruce and find out, you know, is that a big problem? Is that moisture in the wood? What causes that? Because it's like parts of it just aren't quite drying. And a lot of it I notice are around where the bung holes are, which kind of makes sense. You know, they might have a little extra moisture in there and it takes longer to really cure. But anyways, that's minor stuff. I mostly just did that because I got tired of, I, I can't stand all the flakiness out there. And there's still a lot to go. The major pieces in the cockpit. Like I said, I was doing the easy stuff. Ugh. There's the hard stuff right there, the combings. Uh, and a lot of hardware's got to come off the back um, to 